Good evening, I'm Dan Wolf. Laura has the night off. Thanks for joining us. Vaping in school is a fast growing trend among high schoolers across the country. Now, the Cloquet School District is seeing such a big spike that they're investing more than $20,000 in new technology to help detect when students are vaping on campus. Northern News Now's Rob Coles takes a look at how it works. Smoking in high school may not be a new problem, but modern technology is changing the game. Probably just shy of two years right here worth. Cloquet High School principal Steve Battaglia says in post-pandemic school years, vaping has exploded in popularity. It has just exploded since then. Kids came back with an addiction that developed over, over the time away from school, and it's, it is extremely prevalent now. And if students are caught using an e-cigarette on campus, they can face suspension and the school confiscates their vape pen. In addition to being a health hazard for many, one student told us vaping creates an uncomfortable situation for those who are simply using the restrooms. We had students leaving campus to go use the bathroom in Quick Trip because they didn't feel safe in there. Right now to address the problem, administrators have set up desks like this one here near the restrooms where they can get their work done while also monitoring for signs of vape use. But in the coming weeks, a higher tech solution will arrive. The Cloquet School Board approved funding for vape detectors to be placed in restrooms. You know, they're supposed to be pretty good in terms of, of detecting uh, vapes, smells. The device alerts administrators when vaping may be happening in the restrooms, and school leaders can view hallway footage to determine who may be using them. Pat McCone with the American Lung Association says teenage vaping right now is a health crisis. And I think what schools are dealing with, a level of addiction to nicotine, that we've never seen before in children. She's advocating for legislation to stop manufacturers from creating flavored products that appeal to teens. Kids that are vaping are not vaping tobacco flavors. They're vaping watermelon, bubblegum, gummy bear. Two approaches tackling different ends of the same problem. In Cloquet, Rob Coles, Northern News Now. And according to Battaglia, about 20% of Cloquet students surveyed said they had used tobacco products at some point, which is higher than the state average. Now, once installed, there's going to be 14 detectors at Cloquet High, 10 in the middle school, and 7 at the alternative school.